my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. First of all, I would like to wish you all a very happy feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Holy Mother Church celebrates the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary on the 8th of September. It is usually the custom of the Church to celebrate the feast of the saint on the date of their death, as it is considered the Dies Natalis, a day remembered as their birth into everlasting happiness. Mary, however, was born sinless through the privilege of Immaculate Conception. Her birth was a cause of great joy, as it is considered as the dawn of our salvation. For the Christians residing in the west coast of India, that is, Mangalore, Urpi, Karwar, Goa, and Mumbai, we fondly call it as Muntifest, the Feast of Our Lady of Mount. There is no reference in the sacred scriptures to the birth of Mary. That which is known about Mary's nativity is found in Apocrypha, principally the Proto-Evangelium of James, which is dated by historians prior to 200 AD. This book gives us the detailed account about the birth of Mary in the fifth chapter. The earliest document commemorating this feast of the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary comes from the sixth century. It is generally believed that this feast originated in Jerusalem, since there is evidence of a church dedicated to Saint Anne in Jerusalem at the north of the temple in the neighborhood of the pool of Bethsaida. According to the scholar Father Pratap Naikeshe, the festival derives its name from Capella de Nossa Senora do Monte, which means the Chapel of Our Lady of Mount, which was constructed in the year AD 1519 on a hillock overlooking the Mandovi River in Old Goa. The feast of the chapel was celebrated on 8th September, and thus this feast came to be known as Monti Fest. This feast is also celebrated as the Harvest Festival. This is more of a cultural side of feast, where people bring their first fruits and offer to God. They a day to thank the Lord for His blessings of prosperity. When many Hindus were converted to Christianity, the culture was adapted. The Harvest Festival was incorporated into Monthi Fest. This feast is also a family feast, where family gathers together for prayers and later for meals, thus sharing love with each other. On this special occasion, I would like to reflect on a very special title of Mary, Mary, the cause of our joy. At the wedding feast of Cana, there was shortage of wine. In the tradition of Israel, wine symbolizes joy. When Mary pleaded with Jesus, the joy was returned to the wedding. Her birth itself was a joyful event. As we know from the tradition, Joachim and Anne had no children. When Mary was born to them, it was a great joy to them. And not just to them, it was a great joy for the whole world. The sorrow brought in the world by disobedience of Eve was changed into joy by the obedience of Mary. This great joy was communicated by Mary to Elizabeth at the visitation. At this joyful encounter, even the babe in the womb of Elizabeth left for joy. Prophet Zechariah foretold this by when he spoke the word of God. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for I am coming to dwell among you. As we celebrate this feast, let us learn from Mary the quality of being joyful and spreading joy to all whom we meet. I would like to quote the words of Pope Francis here. A Christian is never bored or sad. Rather, a true believer of Christ always is full of joy and radiates joy. Today, let us pray for our family members. Let us pray for the strength in these difficult times. Let us also remember those families who are shattered by pandemic. Many have lost their lives and many have lost their livelihood. Let us today, in a special way, remember and pray for the families. St. Joseph Seminary, Prakasharya, wishes you all a happy Munti Fest. <laughs>